I'm going to give you a brief idea of how papyrus is made and how the ancient Egyptians made the first paper. Our word for paper comes from papyrus. Papyrus is a member of the sedge family. The ancient Egyptians left no record of how they made paper, perhaps because paper making was a jealously guarded state secret and a major export. Modern scholarship and experimentation have shown how it was done. It was a holy plant for two reasons. First, the stem has a triangular shape, which was the symbol of eternity and everlasting life. Secondly, the crown looks like the sun's rays, the symbol of the sun god Amun-Ra. It needs fertile land, a metre of fresh water, and hot weather to grow up to five metres high. It used to be grown widely, but is now rare and controlled. The grower cuts the stems according to the size of sheet. We have two kinds of paper, white paper and brown paper. Papyrus was used for writing until about the 8th century, in spite of competition from Chinese paper after 105 AD. First, remove the outer green part. White is the pith and is rich in sugars, and the best part is the most central part of the pith. You cut it into thin slices. Use a wooden mallet to reduce the amount of water. For complete removal of water, we use a roller. See, the water comes out. Now the slice is stronger and more flexible. Put the slices in clean water for three to seven days. For brown paper, we leave it in the water for two weeks. The earliest known papyrus scroll was recently excavated in Wadi Al Jaf on the Red Sea coast, dating from about 2500 BCE. The sugar ferments and turns the white into brown paper. Out of the water, it's soft and slimy like this. Arrange the pieces side by side on felt just overlapping in horizontal and vertical lines. The natural glues cement the strips together. Then we cover it to absorb the water. The ancient Egyptians used layers of linen. They changed the wet linen every two or three days. We put it under the hand press for seven days to dry under pressure. Papyrus saw the development of Egyptian writing from hieroglyphics to script until it was replaced by Arabic after the Roman era. When it comes out of the press, you can see it's dry, stable, and pliable. You can see horizontal lines and vertical lines. You can also see some brown spots where the sugar has fermented. The paper surface can be polished with shell or bone, and now it's ready for writing or painting. The papyrus plant was used for many things, from boats to sandals. The roots yield food, medicine, and perfumes. In practice, the sheets were limited to 30 centimeters long and 22 centimeters wide. And the sheets were joined together and sold as scrolls.